Good morning guys, are you back again with another video on our YouTube channel, Learn and Grow With Us. Please subscribe or share our channel if possible with your friends before going into the video. And you can every day visit our channel to improve your language. That's why in today's lesson we're talking about improve your language, especially English. This implies to every language around the world, but we are specifically meaning English. Okay, uh, we have four skills in English language or any other language that helps you to improve in that language. You have to master these levels, then you can speak fluently or very good as a native speaker. Uh, we're going to talk about these parts, these sections, one by one. The first one is listening. Listening uh, means listen to something. Uh, as we know, language is something that has to be acquired by a person. So, uh, when we are a child, if you notice, when a child uh, comes to a society, no matter that society speaks in Kurdish, Arabic, English, Spanish, or any other languages, that child will acquire the language of that uh, society or its surrounding. Why? This is because the child is listening, is inputting the words, is receiving and acquiring the words, enough words, so that he or she can uh, utter it out, speak with that language. Uh, but when we are talking about a, le a language learner, we are not talking about a child, uh, an infant, uh, when he or she cannot speak. We're talking about someone, an adult or uh, a teenager, who has uh, a first language already. So he wants to, talk, he wants to learn the second language. Uh, that's why we recommend listening uh, before every other uh, like other skills. When you listen to something, you acquire the words, you uh, improve your words stock in your mind. Uh, for example, uh, we have like many ways uh, to acquire the words through listening. The first one or the most common one is movie, uh, listening to movie. Uh, as we know, movies uh, are expected to use everyday and common words uh, which is being spoken in uh, like native countries for example an american uh, an american movie uses uh, the most updated words uh, of the uk of the united states for example uh, that's why a movie is a very a very good and an important uh, way uh, to acquire words uh, for a specific language uh, we have many kinds of movies uh, that depends on the person who wants to learn uh, the language. Uh, some people uh, prefer uh, historic uh, movies, some people prefer scientific or uh, we call it sci fi, science fiction movies. Some people know, like romance, uh, like uh, movies, some people like drama, uh, so series, so any uh, other type of movies. Uh, that depends on you. Uh, you just uh, want to acquire the words through the movie or through the TV show, serial or anything. But I recommend you to watch the movie or uh, the video you look without subtitle. Why? Because when you hear something in the video, a, a, a word that you think is new for you, uh, if you look at the subtitle, you directly uh, recognize the word. But if you uh, just uh, hear the word, you are trying to find it. Uh, find it for what? Throw dictionary, the most common way. Throw dictionary. Uh, or uh, you're gonna search for it in Google. Uh, Google it. We, we, say, we say Google it. It means search for it in Google. Uh, when you uh, look after the, uh, like uh, when you uh, try to um, see the meaning or the pronunciation or the spelling of the word, you encounter new words. You face new words which is uh, near to that word. For example, <coughs> if we uh, search for the word uh, reach, R-E-A-C-T, which means 
CH, uh, sorry, what means uh, to arrive somewhere. You encounter a word R I C H, which means someone wealthy. Okay, so in this uh, like uh, situation, uh, you will get benefit from what? From uh, knowing similar words uh, in speaking, uh, I mean in uh, pronunciation or in spelling. This helps you to improve your vocabulary, your uh, word stock in your mind better and better. This is uh, one of the benefits of listening to something, to a video without subtitle. Okay, uh, the second uh, way to uh, improve your vocabulary uh, is uh, listening to songs. Okay, some people like, uh, do, not, do not like movies, but they pre prefer uh, songs. They can uh, listen to uh, any song they want. Or some people are just like uh, news. They prefer news uh, to movie and songs. They can uh, listen to it because the news is uh, uh, like uh, talk is t are talking about something uh, which is happening daily. Uh, that's why a news is a good source too. Uh, then speech. Uh, a speech by a president, for example, a speech by a um, director of a company, a speech by uh, someone uh, who, uh, who offers or who uh, gives an academic speech. Uh, you can get benefit from uh, the speech too, because in the speech we have opening uh, how the person starts to show his ideas and uh, we almost have the uh, core of the uh, speech. Uh, he in, he insists he focuses on the uh, core uh, like purpose he wants to show, and then uh, at the end, of course, we have conclusion. If the speaker uh, is a professional speaker, he conclude uh, sum up uh, the what he wants to show at the end uh, of the speech. After the listening, when you or after the listening or with the listening we can use reading okay reading but as I said uh, listening is the most important way uh, to get a language to acquire a language reading is also a good way to acquire and to get to be familiar with new words uh, in words uh, in uh, readings we have uh, <coughs> many like types of uh, read, uh, write, write an articles that you can get benefits uh, from them. For example, we have books, we have scientific books, we have historical books, just like movies, we have uh, uh, like medical books, uh, for example, uh, and uh, like if you uh, are a doctor, for example, or if you want to uh, get uh, some new vocabulary uh, in, med in medical terms, uh, you can write, uh, you can read uh, medical books or medical articles, okay? Uh, because you want to uh, learn some vocabularies in a specific field in English language. But if you want to pr improve uh, your uh, like uh, academic uh, language, uh, you may uh, read, uh, for example, uh, we have books like. Uh, vocabulary in use we have levels beginner intermediate advanced and these kind of books or uh, you may uh, read uh, a book that is prepared to a curriculum uh, that is prepared that is uh, made to be uh, teaching in like universities and schools this helps you to improve your academic uh, vocabularies okay then we have magazines of course everyone is familiar with magazines uh, we, uh, we we may see so many nice and different uh, articles in, an, in a magazine. Uh, we see uh, different types of uh, topics. Uh, each paper may talk about something. They talk about sports, they talk, up, they talk about politicals, uh, they talk about like uh, uh, weather, uh, climate, and any other different like, uh, we, you can get different uh, types of uh, topics in magazine. Then we have articles. Articles is something that is uh, like maybe published in a magazine or a newspaper. Uh, a speech of, for, uh, as, uh, of someone, uh, but not uh, like uh, uttering it, but uh, in written. It has been published by, in uh, magazines or newspapers. Uh, newspapers as well uh, is, a good, uh, is a good source 
to get a new language because as we said uh, it, it talks about uh, like daily life activities uh, or uh, the uh, events that is going on around us every day uh, then when we master this, these two uh, skills listening and reading and especially the listening we can utter what we have what we have in our mind in our uh, vocabulary store like say uh, through speaking uh, what kind of speaking but there is an important point for all uh, like uh, the skills uh, in listening and reading you encounter it less but in speaking and writing you may encounter this problem some people or some English learners uh, are afraid or are ashamed of speaking or of writing it is totally okay now I'm recording this video and I'm making mistakes uh, someone native uh, is making a video is making a speech he or she uh, makes a mistake I have seen many so in speaking the most important point is that you do not feel uh, like a shame or uh, to do not feel afraid uh, when you talk to someone uh, you may be afraid that he's better than me uh, if I do a mistake uh, he will notice this let you to keep in silent to just acquire words acquire words words after words and to just keep it in your mind and to do not utter them that is not learning English that is just learning words okay that is not learning a language that is just learning uh, some words and make your mind busy with words that is not helping you to speak in English what helps you to speak English is that you do not <clears throat> feel ashamed you do not feel afraid of anyone uh, for example you can speak with yourself uh, if you can't speak with your friend or with uh, someone else at this uh, at the beginning you uh, goes in front of the mirror every day uh, you talk to yourself talk about what you are going to do today what you are planning to do for example you say uh, okay today I will go uh, to my friend okay we will plan uh, our activity for the next week today I'm going to school uh, I have to study this I have to learn this I have to do this I have to, I don't have to do this when you talk to yourself uh, you can uh, step by step you can uh, like uh, utter words utter sentences but this is not enough okay this is not 100 percent enough maybe this is just this maybe this just provides 20 percent of your uh, like uh, needs to speak English what you have to do you have to with uh, talk with a native or with a friend of you that is good in English or maybe that is not good in English it is not a big matter but when you talk uh, to someone else you feel like that like you are improving this happens to me when I am talking to myself I do know to recognize my mistakes this is something dangerous about uh, talking with yourself you do not understand your mistakes if you are not a good learner that is uh, something that may uh, be a disadvantage of uh, talking with yourself but when you talk with a native or with a someone who is good in English he may uh, he or she may uh, correct your mistakes he may she may correct your mistake this goes up to 15 percent to learn English when you when you say for example when you say I am uh, like I am visit my grandpa he or she directly uh, corrects you no I am visit my grandpa is not correct I am visiting my grandpa for example is the correct one here you directly learn something that I am visit my grandpa is incorrect and I have to say I am visiting my grandpa okay this is an advantage or a benefit of talking to someone native or someone who is good in English uh, speaking speaking uh, is the best way to improve your language after listening why because when you as uh, I said uh, recently when you just listen to words and to acquire the words it is not enough to speak 
and English. You have to speak, you have to utter the words, you have to say the sentences uh, so that uh, you could be able to speak in a language or especially English. Okay, after the speaking, uh, we have another skill that has to be improved and it is writing. Okay. Uh, writing may be very writing letters, writing daily habits, write, uh, write, write about uh, your life, write about something, an accident that happens to you in past, uh, no matter it is happy or sad. But in writing, you will get improved how? Uh, for example, you write a letter, you write a letter about uh, 10 sentences, for example, uh, you read it. Okay, you read it for yourself. Sometimes you recognize your mistakes when you read your letters. Uh, as I said before, uh, maybe you, you wrote uh, like, I, uh, for example, I did uh, not receive, for example, you uh, may get uh, recognize that, oh, when I did, uh, when I use did, I cannot use received. I have to use receive. For example, something like this. Uh, as we said, uh, writing is for improving your uh, language in academic ways. So you learn your mistakes or you may uh, get help from one of your friends to revise your letter, to read your letter and to mark uh, your mistakes. Maybe you get help from your teacher. Uh, write a letter, write an article and uh, get it to your teacher. Uh, please, uh, can you just highlight, highlight my mistakes uh, so that I can uh, correct them? This helps you in a great manner. Daily habits, you can talk about daily habits, uh, activities uh, that you do daily. For example, you say, I woke up and at uh, 9 o'clock, for example, uh, then I have breakfast. And I call my friend, uh, we go to the park together, uh, we discuss uh, anything we like, uh, or you may say, uh, I woke up at 8.13 uh, uh, a.m., uh, then I go to my course uh, at uh, one year institute uh, in Kalar, then I uh, go back to home, I uh, read, or advice what we have studied today to learn better English or you can talk about your life for example you say uh, I born at a, a specific date like uh, then I, my family has uh, five uh, members in it uh, three sisters two brothers like about your life write about your life uh, or write about your future, what you want to be in future. Writing helps you uh, in two uh, like uh, great way. First, uh, helps you with your uh, spellings. Uh, second, helps you with your vocabulary. Uh, when you write, you write words and you see the words. Uh, so you may uh, listen or he hear a new word. You uh, learn a word. Uh, yesterday and you write it in your letter today this helps you to recognize and remember that word easily okay uh, this was uh, these were what we uh, meant to talk about them these skills listening reading speaking and writing and we have uh, said that listening is the most important way to learn a language any other language but we specifically mean English okay uh, we have given an example if you remember about the child how he or she acquires a language it is just listening and then after the listening he or she imitates us for example your brother or your little sister uh, listens uh, to you hear your words every day and then when he grow up he utter your words. Uh, he or she doesn't uh, like get anything uh, when he was not born. He uh, acquire every word, every utter, every pronunciation, every sentences when he listens to us. 
Okay, these were the four uh, skills in English language or any other spe specific languages. Uh, we have a bonus. We are going to talk about them. Our bonus section relates to technology. Another way to learn uh, new vocabularies or important vocabularies to use it in your daily life. Uh, uh, technology helps us in a variety of ways to learn new words. For example, uh, a smartphone is a part of technology. In smartphones, you can uh, like see many different uh, words that you cannot see, for example, in a book. Okay, you ha you can uh, learn uh, that words. Uh, if you are an if you are an English learner and you want to learn English, uh, if you have a smartphone, you have to put your setting, your language of your smartphone, uh, and uh, onto English. Uh, in order to encounter new words and to uh, memorize them easily. Then we have computers in technology also because a uh, computer uh, is a way uh, computers uh, like uh, are means to program uh, new applications uh, or new video games. Uh, in uh, computers we have a different medical uh, or scient uh, different scientific uh, vocabularies as we had in for example medical terms uh, each uh, field of English has uh, specific uh, types of vocabularies or words that relate to it uh, for example in uh, computers we encounter uh, words that we never encounter them in medical uh, books or medical magazines. In medical magazines or books we encounter, we see words that we never see them in songs, for example. Okay, uh, this is uh, what makes English a global and international language because uh, uh, it occupied every aspect at every field of our life. Okay, then we have electronic devices. Uh, we have so many electronic devices. Uh, they have uh, like catalogs. Uh, we can uh, learn words from uh, their uh, instructions. Uh, we can uh, read the papers, uh, or when we use uh, the electronic devices, they have icons and they have terms that you can learn them. Uh, and the last one is uh, video games. This is what I recommend the most, and this is what I like the most because I have improved my uh, like um, language thanks to video games. I uh, got, uh, I can say, 15% of my English uh, through video games. Uh, when I went to university, uh, I recognized that I know so many words, but I cannot utter them. And thanks to uh, like university and lectures, I uh, was able to uh, utter the words to speak them with myself, with uh, my teachers, with a native, for example, friend or with my friend, uh, and to master the levels day by day and <clears throat> step by step. So today, because la English uh, occupies uh, most aspects of our lives we can learn the language easily but we have to try hard and we have to be precise please please when you learn a word learn how to pronounce it then learn how to spell it because pronunciation is a very uh, like uh, is a very important uh, part of speaking that, uh, that makes you to feel like a native speaker. Uh, we have like uh, different accents in English language uh, or we may see uh, so many people talking English but their English are broken. We call it broken English. Uh, for example, they cannot pronounce the word easily. They cannot uh, uh, use words in uh, correct uh, like sentence and or context uh, contexts please please when you listen to a word when you read a word when you learn a word learn how to pronounce it and learn how to spell it and learn 
how to use it in context because uh, uh, many words in English uh, have variety of uses of meanings I uh, like encounter this problem with my students uh, when I say for example uh, take means this for example they say teacher but uh, I heard take for example uh, means this uh, like I can know how to explain for them but what I can say is that do not stick yourself to a context do not stick yourself yourself to a, a context and to recognize what a word to one context because English uh, is very vast you can use a word in a context as an insulsion and you can use the same word in another context uh, as a prize for example you may talk about the good of a person with a word and you may talk about uh, the bad of a person with the same word that's why we cannot say this word means this uh, and it is fixed it is changing and uh, it, uh, many words have multiple uh, meanings in English language please be careful uh, with those uh, like problems that will encounter you when you want to learn English uh, we hope uh, you can understand and you can get benefit uh, from our video I decided to uh, talk in English in total English in this video because uh, I want to sometimes put videos uh, on our channel for those who are intermediate or advanced learners but they want to improve and improve better and better uh, in English uh, that is why I put this video in English and I didn't use any Kurdish words uh, we will have another videos like this uh, but we are focusing on the other language which is our mother language more and more because uh, we realize that uh, many of our uh, like uh, many of our students or our learners uh, wants to uh, use both language in the videos uh, a good day please uh, subscribe our channel and uh, comment or share it with your friends have a good day